The IPCC is the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. This was put together mainly under the United Nations auspices to create a document that analyzes and reflects upon all of the science about climate change. And so authors were gathered from all over the world, different countries, and uh, every five to seven years a report is issued that gathers the latest information about climate from all of the uh, scientific literature to tell us what has the climate done, what is it doing now and why, and what might happen in the future, especially if certain policy decisions are taken. What are the vulnerabilities, vulnerabilities we might have to uh, climate change? And so um, uh, the first of these was done in 1990. Uh, the second uh, was a supplement done in 1992, and that's where I really became involved because it was around that time that Roy Spencer and I uh, produced a global temperature data set from satellites, the first uh, to have ever done this. And our results were kind of startling because they did not show dramatic global warming like people were thinking we would find. Which, by the way, and that was 17, 18 years ago, that's still true. We don't find this dramatic global warming. It is warming some, but not dramatically. Uh, in 1995, another report came out I was involved with as a, a major um, contributor. And then in the year uh, 2001, the IPCC, I was selected as a lead author, uh, which means I had some responsibility for uh, a section of the IPCC and explaining upper air temperatures and their changes and trying to get all the research involved and, and put that in just a few hundred words. Now the document is very big, hundreds and hundreds of pages, and so having a few hundred words in hundreds and hundreds of pages is a, might not be a, a, a great uh, <laughs> uh, a success story or a recognition, but it is, uh, it's interesting that I was selected uh, to be one of the lead authors because of the credibility of our background and our data sets here. Um, but people should understand the IPCC makes pronouncements that are based upon the way the lead authors write various sections. And I should say these pronouncements are consensus statements. I happen to disagree with many of the pronouncements there, but the weight of having a lot of scientists or the impression of having a lot of scientists agree on something carries a lot of weight. And so um, while I disagree with a number of statements in the IPCC, um, it, uh, it has a big voice in this whole argument. 